What's up YouTube, Dialed Sportsman here. Wanted to bring you guys a video talking about HK Pistols. This video is coming out in uh, April 2024. And I wanted to talk a little bit about if HKs are worth it right now in 2024. And I would say 100% is a yes. HKs are phenomenal shooting pistols. And <clears throat> they can be had at a great price right now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I obviously, as you can see here, have two and I was a previous Glock owner before having these. And since then I've gotten rid of the Glock because this thing just absolutely smokes it, um, in terms of performance, uh, overall handling the way it feels in your hand, customization, uh, well, customization out the box. I know Glocks have a lot of aftermarket parts that can be had, but out of the box customization, what I mean is mostly in the grip. So you can make the back strap longer or uh, give yourself a wider grip. Um, yeah, I guess on the aftermarket uh, side of things, Glock does have more, but out the box, these are so good to go. I really don't see what you would want or need to do with um, the HK pistol lineup. And like I said, coming out, uh, this video coming out in April, 2024, um, these are as much, if not cheaper than say a Glock 17 or a Glock 19. Um, you don't have to shop around too far to find a good deal on these. I won't spe say specifically where to look because you probably won't really have too much of a problem finding a good price on these. Um, but if you're interested in picking up a full size nine millimeter, uh, I would say go with the VP lineup. This is a VP nine full size. And you could also consider some of the micro or smaller models or the P30 lineup. Um, difference is the VP nine or the VP lineup lineup is a uh, hammer fired or I'm sorry, striker fired. So, um, let me bring it back. It actually has a chamber um, or a cocked indicator right here as well. Hope you guys can see that. And striker fired, meaning there's the internal striker. And on the other hand, on the P30 lineup, it is almost, it's a very similar gun, uh, but the internals, it is a hammer fired. So you have the hammer back here, cock it back, and pull the trigger or give it one double action pull if there's one already chambered with a decocker back here. Um, but yeah, guys, both of these are amazing options. These uh, could be priced much higher. I mean, I think HK could get away with marking some of these firearms up at close to the $1,000 uh, mark. I wish this one was uh, the model I got years ago, had the slide cut. Um, other than that, it's perfect. I really like running a red dot. Uh, it's not the end of the world, just depending on what I'm shooting or what type of competition I'm shooting. Um, I could run this or I'll run an FN with a uh, Leopold Delta Point Pro on here. This one's pretty sweet too. But this is a phenomenal pistol. Like I said, if you're thinking about getting a Glock um, or something similar, this is uh, should be a high, high contender for you right now. Um, this specific model has blacked out rear sight and then a high-vis green sight. Uh, what is a little bit different about the VP9 too is... Um, it has a paddle release. So instead of pushing a button like an FN or most of your guns to drop the mag, it does have a paddle release. There's a couple few manufacturers where you can find the button to drop it to. So just uh, be sure to check that out before you uh, make a final decision. I actually love the paddle release for me. I can uh, reach it with my thumb pretty well, just fine. Some people will even come up and um, reach around with a middle finger and drop it like that. I personally don't 
Uh, I haven't trained enough to do that. It could be quicker. I just kind of rotate my thumb down and over. Um, I run a thinner grip. Um, kind of width and back strap wise, it feels great in my hand. I can get my fingers all the way around and still reach over and tap that. Um, but yeah, guys, these can be found for um, amazing. Um, th this is a great comparison to a Glock or something similar that you might be considering um, and is still saying in, in the same price point. So I would definitely consider these. I've shot in thousands of rounds through this one and uh, less through this one, like it as well. Um, but I, I really like how the uh, striker is on this and the trigger right out the gate is pretty good too. Actually really good, honestly, for uh, this class of pistol, but I'll go ahead and ghost it for you guys. So take up. No grit, really. You hear, you feel a little something right there, but it's not gritty. And then reset. So pretty short. Um, I wasn't the best show reset. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, so... It does throw my finger up a little bit as I'm doing it slower, but it feels super short when you're out on the range and actually using it. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to give you a heads up that this these can be found um, very competitively right now. So definitely consider these two um, as an option if you're on the market for a full size nine millimeter. Um, but yeah, guys, appreciate you joining in. Um, again, this is Dialed Sportsman. If you like videos like this, feel free to jump on board and subscribe and also shoot a like over here. It really helps grow the channel. So um, yeah, thank you for staying tuned and you guys take care.